Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day and a lovely Inktober too. Oh my goodness, we're already coming down the end stretch. Um, before I get into the video, if you guys have any uh, social media accounts where you upload Inktober drawings, I would love to see them. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm not quite active on Instagram because I don't have a smartphone and I, so I can't upload pictures, but um, I do post on Twitter and that's at berryzen32. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, so today I'm going to just show you one of the drawings I've done, or more like doodles, uh, not ap or not before I show just some of the things I've done. Mainly my goal for Inktober this year was to doodle my mascot, Zemi. And I'm so glad I was able to also because for maybe the past couple of months or so, I've been working on a lot of more serious and, uh, you know, full background, full body pieces with characters, human characters. <laughs> and I kind of miss drawing Zemi. So I was like, well, let's, let's do Inktober. Let's do that. Because at first I wasn't going to do Inktober because of all the things that I was planning on doing instead. And because November is coming up and that means for all you writers, National Novel Writers Month. And yeah, it's basically intense uh, challenges two months in a row. <laughs> uh, so I decided to take it a bit easy this year with Inktober. Um, pretty much my only... Uh, guidelines for this was one no pencil sketch like just go straight in with the ink and if there are mistakes there are mistakes just go with it <laughs> and secondly just to have fun and draw my characters at me and there's actually one day where I did do draw um I did do draw <laughs> words <laughs> uh I did draw a original character that I just kind of, you know, made up on the fly, and um, that was kind of fun, but I still, that was just kind of a, an anomaly, <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing pretty well with these uh, Inktober pieces. I mean, they usually take around 45 minutes, because I usually go really slow, and I'm just a slow artist in general. I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to apologize for that. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that also, that was something I wanted to bring up also with Inktober because one of the things I noticed in the very beginning especially is that so many, oh gosh, there were so many gorgeous pieces on Instagram and I'm, you know, when I'm watching other Inktober videos on YouTube, then in the corner they're or uh, to the right, they're suggesting a bunch of other Inktober videos, and those pieces are gorgeous. And it's like, oh my gosh, there's there's so much. And I started to feel a, a bit self-conscious. I'm not going to lie. I knew that's why I wanted to have just those guidelines in the first place to try and take it easy. Because with the internet and just how, just how almost overbearing the options of other artists work that you see if that makes sense just basically because it is such a huge platform for other artists who may or may not be incredibly um proportionally uh exponentially <laughs> better skill wise than you are it can be a bit intimidating and all I can say, yeah, I felt that a bit toward the beginning, but that's why I just thought to myself, you know, we're just doing doodles. We're not trying anything ser like too complex because that wasn't really the point. And not only that, but a lot of artists, they start Inktober and they do, they put their best foot forward and they try to make something amazing every day and they burn out. And as a result, they don't end up finishing Inktober. A lot of people I've seen, they'll do maybe one piece or they'll do maybe the first week and that's it. <laughs> so a lot of people end up dropping Inktober 
And the point of Inktober, because I've watched Jake Parker, the creator, talk about Inktober itself. And the point of it is to try and get yourself into the habit of drawing every day. And not only that, but to finish something every day. Um, so even if it's not something incredibly gorgeous looking or just something that you want everyone in the world to see, it's still, if you're doing, if you're putting in the work to create something, you're doing it right. And that's just the kind of mentality I've tried to have this month. And I would like to say I've done pretty well. I mean, there were a couple days where I just wasn't feeling well or completely forgot <laughs> to make my piece, but I would make it up the next day. So yeah, there may be a lot of better, quote, quote unquote, better quality pieces out there for Inktober, but I still, I'm in the habit of making that commitment to dedicate that time just for this purpose every, almost every day. And if not twice a day to make up for the days I have missed. But yeah, just, I guess that's just kind of a, maybe just something that might encourage, I'm hoping it's encouraging to other artists out there who might feel a bit discouraged but still want to push through Thinktober because I know that pain. <laughs> um, a comparison is a really difficult thing to deal with, especially when you are an artist and creating something is a very personal and valuable, meaningful part of your, almost just to your own worth. And that's why a lot of people, when they can't create or when they see someone creating stuff that they themselves consider to be better, it can be really painful to your psyche. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just for today, I decided to draw Zemi as a teacher. And I would, I'll probably show maybe if I didn't already show it at the beginning, I'll show it at the end, just some of the other doodles I've done. And it's just been really fun. If I'm, I notice if, if I'm squealing or if I'm really just giggling at the picture, then I'm doing something right. <laughs> that was also another informal guideline that I wanted to have for this month. But yeah, once again, if you guys are posting Inktober drawings, let me know in the comments down below. And I think that about wraps it up. So I will post, you know, bi-weekly. I think I'll have another finish this with me or I'll probably do the final video to wrap up TB5 time. Oh, I'm so excited that that's finished. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that'll be not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. So I will talk to you guys then. Until next time.